The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the uh, Dow Industrials up uh, 36. NASDAQ is up two. S&Ps are up a buck and a half. We have gold down uh, $16. You get the uh, oil contract up 76 cents. The 10-year note is off seven ticks. The 30-year bond is off 16 ticks. Uh, King dollar is up 199 ticks. And uh, the NDX 100, Tom, they slammed that on the open like really, really good. The, the NQs were at uh, like 42.85, uh, slammed it down to about 42.60. And it looks like uh, there's a couple of biotechs that uh, Ray Jenner on, REGN, they hit that good at the uh, open. And that's, that's down 16 bucks. But it's intriguing uh, when it's you see. 5%, right? 4 to 5%, yeah. That quick. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Now, folks, let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hicks, as we do each and every trading day. And of course, don't forget. At TFNN, folks, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we start live programming 8 o'clock in the morning to 5 in the afternoon. Tuesday, Thursday, 7 o'clock in the morning to 6 in the afternoon, all Eastern time. You get everything right on your cell phone. TFNN.com, hit Tiger TV. Kevin's got an amazing show with Scott, with Cindy. Swim lessons, 12 to 1, Eastern Standard Time, every trading day. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? How you doing, man? We got you. I think we do. We'll see if we can get him on the line. Yeah, totally. Maybe he's trading. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> the, the, the grains. That's right. Those grains, man. No doubt. <laughs> this morning at uh, on, on Logan's show, it was pretty cool. I heard Z calling in from uh, Philly, talking with uh, John Logan. They were, they were they were going through those grains in a big way. Yeah, yeah I know. Uh, and it was cool because. You know, folks, if you, if you haven't heard John's show, I mean, it was there was a really sophisticated trade that they were putting on out there today. He runs around a ton of different markets too. So I know. It's perfect to I'm, get a feel of what's going on. Seriously, for, man. You know, I wake up, I'll have like CNBC on or something. Then right. I'll turn John on. Right. And, um, works out. Well. I. You know what's so cool, man? I changed my whole mo now. <laughs> so you're gonna go to your Bloomberg. I did. Uh, so I, 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 you've been talking a lot about your. It, it, you know, it's so funny, man. I, your affinity for the Bloomberg now. Well, what, what happens? Go ahead. No, I did. No, what, what happens is that I ne I've always when I listen to anyway, I don't listen to the. I just yeah, want, and I turn it off. Some, you know, yes, you, you yeah. do the stream. You can see, but now, breaking news now or something. I'm always on Bloomberg, and of course, I'm always on TFNN, and then then the, it's always the battle because. You know, TFN, you got to put the voice on because you, you got to hear the voice versus the you know the Bloomberg. You can just see yes, the, the there's scroll, enough information the scrolling just across, with right. being on TV. And then and, and that is good because you see like if something is breaking or it, if there's exactly, something really exactly. happening. Then, right. Yeah. And then, folks, if you haven't test drove the tigers, then you got to go do it because all the tigers and tigers is waking up is hilarious in the den. <laughs> There's, it's yeah, all, there's it's always a, it's always a great laugh, man. Right. <laughs> there's almost sixty people in there right now. You know. Right. And and you can see them waking up. I was like, okay, where are we going today? What are we are we got a bear hats on, a bull hats on. What do we got on, man? Yeah, what's going to happen? <laughs> oh my God! So, uh, markets out here. Let me go. I want to go look at these NQs because this first get go down was a pretty good one. But I believe what it was doing is going into the uh, swing low from yesterday. Okay, so if we put this up. Oh, that's going to get interesting. Okay, so they, see how they spiked that down yesterday at the close? The NQs yesterday, I mean, yesterday were the strongest. And then right at the close, man, they whacked it. They whacked it good, too. Um, and so this morning, you know, they, they, it's going to get, if, if they can get a little strength, that test is on light of on. We had 18,000 contracts at 10 minutes of four. Yesterday. Yep. Yesterday. And we come down and they slammed it right at the open with 9,000. You know, so now you need some strength. Let's see. So forty-two fifty-six. Yeah, that was just a really big volume bar yesterday. Look at how crazy this is. You know, what blows my mind. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> well, 
it's that's like 42.56 too. It's like, how does that work? Yesterday was the lowest, 42.56.50, right? Yes, yes. Today is 42.56.75. Yeah. Coming right back to it, for it, sure. Yeah, it's just, it's just strange when yeah, that happens. Right. And you're talking about a 4,000 number. Right. You know? It's right. like, okay, so how does that, you know, well. Yes, no, for sure. It's crazy, man. Crazy, man. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Spring has sprung in Florida, folks. Well, spring has sprung everywhere. It's like. beautiful. You can tell it's the third day I wear a sailing shirt. Is it the I third? Know. I knew it was, a, I knew it was it yesterday. Is. I knew it was it the is. second. That's a, I, but well, I liked the shirt yesterday. I was looking well, at it. You know, we're posting on Facebook that a nice red sailing shirt. Right. But I think that's why it caught my eye because yesterday it was red. Right. Would you have like blue the day before? Maybe black the day before. Black, red, white. When I when I break these <laughs> out. The, well, you know, it's blue, red, white, and blue. I get I get blue ones. Red, white, blue, black. I get green ones. I can't wear the green ones though. You can. March 17th, it's coming up. Yeah, I know. That's the perfect date. March 17th is coming up. Your birthday's coming up. My birthday's after that. Oh, that boy. Oh, boy. Oh, what day is today? Hey, Charles Lloyd's birthday is the 10th. Oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Happy birthday, Charles. Happy that's tomorrow. Happy birthday. Yeah, totally. That's my father's birthday, too, you know. Yes, I do. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That's beautiful. Totally. Kevin Hanks just IM'd me. He's probably, uh, so he had to go right back. Oh, the line's busy, he's saying. Okay, we'll get him. We'll get yeah. him on here. Perfect. We got a break. Maybe we'll get him on during it's the break. It's a beautiful thing. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Dow Industrials right now uh, up at uh, 28. Nasdaq's up four. S and P's are up uh, 1.75. We're gonna be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by high concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. We get the uh, Dow Industrials right now up 30. You get the Nasdaq uh, up 7. S&Ps are up 250. Uh, gold's up uh, uh, down 13. Uh, it's going to be interesting if gold makes its way all the way back here. Uh, you get silver only down a penny. How far was gold down? Gold, I think they yeah, got it down about 16. But, okay. you know, realistically, you should be able to, be able to get gold down, like, a lot more than that. So, uh six yeah 19 they had it down okay yeah i mean but the expansion in gold it's like why can't you get it down 50 if it's going to go down <laughs> yes you know? no no it, it's, it's been quite a run you know right and what now here's the benchmark the benchmark on this folks is going right along it really is like 1240 hasn't it come down to that level like, oh no 1243 is low today okay yeah that's see that's what it's banging on 1236 has uh, 341,000 contracts. Um, 1240 has 182. 1254 has 274. Oh, this would be a good one to look at. The, 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 Oops, sorry. That's all right. The 24th of February, if you got a rejection of that 1254, because we got underneath it. Which is the high of that bar. The high of that bar. And if you actually had lighter volume than uh, 274, which we will have, that would be that would be like saying, guess what? They can't whack it down. There's a lot of support there, man. Um, Mark, we got, hey, we got oil numbers coming out this morning, too. Yes, 1030. 1030. Uh, yep. That'll be right after our next break, right? Yeah. 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 And if we, uh, if we do go over to those uh, NQs, let me see what else we have happening here. So if we look inside the NDX 100 first to see what's moving this market, um, the losers, okay, Regeneron is down $15.85. You have INCY down $3.234. TripAdvisor is down $197, and Biogen is down $6.45. I think we have a caller on the line. Okay. We do. Let's go to Carlos. Hey, Carlos, what's going on, brother? Good morning, guys. How are you? Morning, Carlos. I'm doing great, man. Hey, uh, Tom. Yes, sir. Yeah, let me ask you. How'd you make? You, you must have. You must have made out like a bandit on that FCX, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> um, and the reason I call you today is uh, I need to ask you about this S and P and the gold. Um, I heard a lot of comments about that. There's a relationship. If gold goes up. Yes, and peace will go down. Can, can you talk about it a little bit? Because they're yeah, making, that, they're, uh, well, they're making this look just like the comparison they're doing with oil too. And, yeah, uh, there's, there's not there is not a correlation that I see in that at all. You know, what was so intriguing that, and I got such a great education on it, is that when we first got in the market in 2002, right? Um, the, the, the correlation there would seem that, okay, yeah, you know, people were getting into gold because the market was going to get destroyed. Well, guess what happened? Is that the S&P went up, the stocks went up, gold went up. And if I yeah. really learned something, it was in the downdraft of 2007. Market crashed, gold went from 1140 to 666. Like, boom! Okay? That yeah. being said, is that so it's not an inverse relationship. They're always a little bit different. Do you know what I'm saying? But it, it's not, it's certainly not a relationship like we've been dealing with the last, let's say, a couple months with oil versus the S&P. And, and the reason yeah. with the oil and the S&P is kind of clear. I mean, if oil goes up, there's so many stocks that are in the energy business that, you know, that brings those stocks up and that would put, you know, buying power in the S&P. Inside the commodity market, what you have, is that that does, the commodity market relates to the small caps. You know, if you look at the small caps, even from 2002, the, the small caps are the first indice that broke all, everything, broke every single high. And that was because not only gold was going, oil was going simultaneously. You know, all the commodities that were going. That makes sense, yeah. You know, all the commodities were going. 
So you yeah. have those companies in there just going Tom? gangbusters. You do. Yeah. Uh, Tom, can I can I make a, a comment? Yes. Um, I really uh, want to make uh, uh, a notation how everybody's handling these elections. They're putting uh, their comments very professional, and they're not taking sides, and I like that. I really respect that. Um, every host I listen in the morning and the afternoon, you, your son, uh, I really want to appreciate how professionals, even though you may have your own um, party and uh, everybody may have their own, I like the way you guys are doing it. Well, Don't we appreciate you, uh, it. Hey, listen, you uh, know what? This is the, the I, I, I go back and forth sometimes on this, okay? Um, but the reality is that this is a financial program that's here to make people money, or at least educate people. And yes. between religion and politics, if you want to get in trouble, guess what? You know, <laughs> that's and, an easy and, place to get. And that's been forever. Yeah, I remember for sure. my 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 father, my oh, mother and my sure. father sitting it's down. It, it, it didn't yeah. matter. That's nothing new. So, you know, our job our job here is to, you know not only help everyone else make money, for all of us to make money, because we're all, you know, in there's the same bag. Plenty of places well, to go there's, if there's, you want to yeah, hear about politics. That's, that's a great right? point. There's plenty of places to go yeah. if you want to hear about politics, no, or you want no, to pull no, your no. hair out. <laughs> well yeah. said, and, for sure. And, I, and uh, programs like you I really want me, uh, make me believe in uh, the real America. Um, I, I really believe in this country, and people like you, people like you, uh, the group of people you, you uh, uh, make your, uh, your um, business, I, I like it. I really love it, and I really respect it. Well, we we respect you being out here growling a problem with us because the bottom line is that none of us would be anywhere without business. And you know, we got to have a great country. And what blows my mind in, in the context when people do say this and that, I'm saying to myself, man, why don't you just go somewhere else and go see what happens? And see how many people just live every day just to eat. Like I, f I feel like we're so lucky. It's just unbelievable. It it's really like, how do we get born here? No, do you know what I mean? Sure. It really is. It's like, yeah. wow. You, you talk about the lucky DNA club, man. This is this is it. Yeah. The, this is a lucky country club. <laughs> That's the reason I always say I born in in a, in a different country, but I choose to live in this. That's a beautiful thing, brother. We Thank love it, Carlos. Thank you. Thanks so much, man. Take have care, a, Carlos. Have a great one. Have a safe one. And you talk about being born in the USA, we got our man, Mr. Kevin Hanks. <laughs> Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, guys. How you morning, doing, Kevin. man? How's everything? It's Everything's going good, man. Now we got you on the line. You know, life is a beautiful thing. <laughs> totally. <laughs> I mean, it's, it, you know, there, there, there's some interesting things going on today, and we have one of those shows today that's going to be a life changer. It's one of those light bulb moment shows. Oh, us. I like it. Yeah. We're going to talk about, you know, people come to the, the to the shows that we go to and they talk to us one-on-one -on -one and they say, what's the difference? Why are so few people uh, successful in options? Yeah. We're going to show you the difference today on the show. Oh, that's awesome, man. Probability. Yeah. That is awesome. I like probabilities. Huge. You right. know, hey Kevin, I, I you know I might get this clip and send it over to you. You'd be so proud. Um, you you and Scott this morning, our eight o'clock in the morning show, right? Guy calls in from Philly, really sophisticated trader, talking with another Logan, one of our hosts. Oh man, they were setting up a trade and they were talking about you guys between options. Futures, beans, oh man, it was, it was it was dynamite, right? Yeah, I heard it. Okay, oh, Kevin, thanks so much. Twelve o'clock, we're gonna be listening. Have a great day, guys. Okay, Take care, man, man. Thanks so much. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today.
Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's see. Uh, we get the uh, oil contract up, and uh, this thing's been all over the place, but it just went from 3220 to 3220. 60. I, I mean, 37, Sorry. yeah, 37, uh, 20. 20 to 37, 60. And let's see what they're saying on a fundamental basis here. So, uh, CLJ6. Okay, so uh, the inventories rose 3.88 million barrels. Uh, demand rose seven tenths in the past four weeks. Fuel demand rose 59. Ooh, that, does that say 59.06%? I'm not sure where you're reading. Here you go. Third, okay, the yeah. fourth one up. F residual Res fuel demand rose. Residual fuel demand. I'm not sure what, what residual fuel demand yeah, is. Yeah, right. You know, in terms of how. Jet fuel fell uh, half a percent. Yeah, I mean, the, the inventories rose for sure. It's like West... Crude was about a million barrels. Yeah. Gulf Coast was 2.4 million barrels. We'll see what the... Um, just looking at the den, seeing what's going on, right? Yeah, we'll pull that chart up. Look at that. That means the, the market's moving without even thinking about it. We, we can look at that. So we just went from uh, yeah. 3720 to 3767. Yeah, like a 50 cent pop. Yeah. And same thing. We're right within Nadex. We can just take a look at... We're going to look at the NASDAQ 100. Yes. And I'm sure you'd see a pop, right? Yeah, I mean it makes sense. You know, it's the correlation. There we go. Yeah, pretty amazing, man. That that that. Uh, yeah. The commodities are moving markets, man. I mean, well, oil's moving markets. Let's put it that way. Yes, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Good. Well, we'll keep our eye on that. We go over and uh, let's. So, uh, market-wise, what we have out here right now, folks, is that you have the uh, the Dow up 49, Nasdaq up 14, S and P's are up five. Uh, it, it put a little juice in, inside the uh, NQs. The NQs were... Just to go back, I just happened to notice on the news. So you, it was 3.8 million barrels, and the median estimate was 3.5. So it was like 300,000 yep. above estimate. That's always... A and oil went. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe maybe the numbers in all those demands. You can see it scrolling across with uh, production demand, production demand, supply demand. Um, so maybe the demand. If there's 
spikes, yeah. spikes oh. in demand, right? That's, you know, that it's a be, big deal. Right. It's a big deal. That will cause the price to go up. And, you know, what is happening, I'm sure our man, Mr. Andy Heck, is, he probably talked about it last night, um, is uh, we're in March. You know, summer driving starts, what, June and July. We're getting close. Yes. You know, yeah. I mean, yeah. you know. Now let's We're on go. spring break right now, right? Yeah. Um, so let's let's go over and they just brought up natural gas too. So natural gas, um, you know, two days ago, yeah, this is catching a bid too. This is, that we might have to really start putting our head wrapped around natural gas. I haven't wrapped my head around natural gas for a long time, but you're gonna buy some natural gas. I I think I might start trading it. Oh boy, I haven't traded it for a few years. You a stockpile it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to uh, Ken in Kansas. Hey, Ken, what's going on? Hey, good morning, you guys. How are you doing, good man? You. I'm doing great. How are you guys good. doing? Good. good, thank you. Good. Uh, I wonder what you're thinking about Valley. I listened to you last week, and you were recommending it. So I, I bought some around 470 I was wondering what a stop would be on it. Okay, so let's take a look at it. You got Valley. Valley's trading at 379 It, It, you know... It started out, uh, let's see, on the 26th of February, it was at uh, 269. It goes up to 489. You, you're backing down with light volume. I mean, this can back down to 357 pretty easy. You know, um, I would put, you gotta put the stop under 322. Okay. Because that's a natural, this is a, you get a spike higher with volume. That's a natural retracement on the way back. And that's what's always dangerous about something that goes up like that, you know, because they yeah. come back. Yeah. It's not a one-way trip, but it's coming back like, exactly like it should come back, meaning something that wants higher price. You know, yeah. we went up on the third with 76 million shares, the fourth with 86 million, the fifth with 81. Now, why, now yesterday, you come down with... 58, and what you would like to see today is even a contraction of the 58. That's what I really like to see. Yeah, less volume. Just less less volume, volume than the 58, even though you're going against, you know, that the way it would be structured is that you're going against 76 million. So if you just flatly went out with the rules inside time the trade, it'd be like, okay, as long as you come back inside that less than 76, you're good. That being said, which I, what I also have in there though, is that you really, would like to see that contraction even from yesterday, because then you know that okay, the selling is light lightening up in a big way, you know. So you still think it's going to go up around to around eight dollars in the short I do. term? I do. I do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll keep an eye on. Uh, you got time for another one? Sure. UVXY. What do you think it's going to do in the next few days? I've been kind of watching it. UVXY. So let's take a look at this. This is the pro shares. VIX short-term futures. Uh, the fund seeks investment results that correspond to twice the performance of the S&P VIX short-term futures index. These one, this one confuses me. But I think what it is is that what, it, it, what, you're, what, you're, what you're banking on is that you get high volatility, meaning we're going down, and then this would go up, right? Yep. Yeah. So what I would do with this, I would correlate this with the s and getting up into higher price first, you know, because what, what does happen is that, you know, when you think this market's going to turn, um, then, you know, yeah, you can basically turn around and say, okay, I think it's going to be spiked. Because what happens with the VIX product is this, is that you can't trade it when the market's already cracked because it just spikes immediately and then it doesn't move all day. Yes. You know what I mean? So it's it's I don't I don't I don't particularly like the product because of what I just said. You know yeah. what I mean? So you're you're really well yeah, we're all, we're all gambling, what, okay, but it's just a higher it's a higher probability gamble. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, you just never know which way it's going to go no matter what the market does seems like. Okay, you guys have a good day and uh, Thank you for the information. Well, thanks so much for growling and prowling with us out here. Thanks for calling, Ken. Bye-bye. Okay. Uh, market right now, you get the uh, Dow up 65, NASDAQ's up 21, S&Ps are up uh, 7.5. And, and, um, That's a little run, right? Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's a nice run on oil. Oh, baby. And, you know, folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform... I just said interesting. We're coming, you know, we're... we're 
We could be over forty dollars in no time. And yeah. We were just like twenty-seven. I know. Fifty percent rise. Isn't that wild? It is. It really is wild, man. It's you know, fifty percent commodity move off the bottom. Right. Rocking and rolling. And you know, if you haven't test drove the Nadex product, come over, hit the hit the Nadex banner. Um, look at this, man. This is heaven. Bring, bring up the. <laughs> Listen to you. This is heaven. You're too funny. Bring up, bring up the. Uh, uh, the Nadex platform, folks, and you can uh, test drive it. Um, specifically, uh, they'll put twenty-five thousand dollars of paper money into your account, and you can see how these vehicles and these instruments trade. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 73. You get the NASDAQ up 21. S&Ps are up by uh, 8.5. And, and, you know, as we kick off the show uh, every morning, I mean, I, I know I always say to you the volatility here, but it's like <laughs> it's, it's, it's here, right? It, it's sure. amazing, man. It really is. Yeah, it's, and you those know. oil numbers coming out <clears throat> that gave everything a little bit of a pop. It did, and, and gold's only down eight bucks now. You're saying right? Uh, the, the oil brought gold back. You know, that's that's what it seems like. Let's seems put, like it gave put, everything. Put, 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 it did. A it did. Pop. It did give everything. You know, 
And of course, maybe that's something where it's on the demand side, where that's stretching far beyond you know the news yeah. that just came out. Yeah, we'll see as they digest what they released those numbers. And uh, natural gas, uh, you know, tomorrow morning uh, at the on our show, natural gas is going to be coming out. If you need more energy, if production's picking up, if you need all energy of all sorts, and that'll drive the economy. And right. So there's there's news that could be there. Right. And if it, you know, the bottom line with natural gas is that you know not, it's not like a lot of people use it now, but uh, you know you get that sweltering heat coming in to the northeast in the summer, then you're going to see you know natural gas get used. It, it, it's it's using air conditioning the uh, Is it? Okay. yeah the electrical plants also okay. do you need to pump that out okay. never mind if uh, you know something comes in the Gulf of Mexico <laughs> yes that's, that's always next factor yeah, that's the next factor which we've been so lucky let's keep it that way no doubt so let's go take a look at uh, inside the uh, that's interesting here yeah, no hold let's go overseas first so the DAX gave it up. Yeah, so the DAX is only up 35 right now, or 95.25. It was up at 98.38. Maybe they'll come back too. But these markets a little tricky. And the the FTSE gave it up too. That's gonna be okay. We have to we'll keep our eye on. on it's a little worrisome, right? Yeah, it's it is. A, yeah, no, it, it is. Be. Just it like is. for the same reasons we were talking about yesterday, big, right? Just you exactly. Know? Yeah, big time. There's no doubt. When you want to keep your eye on those markets, folks. Um, because yeah. it makes we collapsed a difference. at the end of the day. We did. Oh, but, we did. But I happened to, you know, pull it up at like three o'clock. Maybe it was right when you were starting your show. Right. Um, whenever it was, it had crawled all the way back, and I was like, "Wow, that's pretty intense." Um, I know. Well, and then it gave it up again. It, but gave, it, it had. And that's where, folks, you know, if you are in trades, if you're, if if you think you're swing trading, um, you got to keep taking money off the table, you know, because. <laughs> It goes positive. We're getting a lot of bounces up and down. Take it. To, exactly. To, to put exactly. It. And that's it, why you're saying that. It's not just a market where it goes up one day and it goes down it's, one day. It it's really not, bounces around. You know, and yesterday, you know, I took it's three, or four, I, three right? or four times I took money off the table. Yeah. And it's great I did because guess what? The last trade went south, man. Just like, like I blinked. Yeah, I, I was I, done. I, the market popped so high that I remember thinking, oh, man, I wonder what you were doing because it, yeah. it was past the point that you could have put on a good possible short. Right, right. No, I didn't, I, didn't, really, I, didn't, I didn't go that way. Yeah. I, I was still, my horns are still out. I know. <laughs> I can tell, right? <laughs> a little bit. Oh, it's pretty sick. It's pretty <laughs> sick, man. Uh, these, these baby horns are getting a little bit bigger. Yeah, you're quite a little bull right now. I know. <laughs> you're in heaven. <laughs> you know, it's, you know, it's going to be so funny. It, depending on how long people have been listening, I mean, I, I've gone through years of you know being bears, being bulls, and all that. Um, but the, I, I am still that bear is is a grizzly. And I'm I just, bet. No, I'm I just don't. waiting for it to get up to that level. I man. bet. You know, and you know, after the way the market was even trading yesterday, I said, "Oh, it's going to get wild." But you know what? The volume didn't come in. So, and you know, this out here today just tells me again, meaning how they spiked the NQs down. They couldn't break it, but that that's enough to get everyone scared, and that's the deviance in it. Do you know what I mean? Sure. You take the deviance, say, "Oh, here we go again. It's going to it's going to go topside sure. again." Sure. You know, so. Yeah. Um, inside the uh, Dow, uh, strength versus the weakness. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I should have. We should have known that, right? Yep. Chev Chevron up three sixty-seven. Uh, could, just you can, well, you can go through it. Yeah. But can we take a look at that? Yeah. Because I wonder yeah. what it did exactly at ten thirty. Right? No, totally. Oh my yeah. God! Look at that. Look at that. So wow, and that was that. It, that was actually rocking the whole way. Yeah. yeah. So it started, wasn't, started at nine. I was expecting to see a big bar at ten thirty, but right. it's really just a, a climb all day. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, you got yeah ninety one forty two. So it went up another dollar since ten thirty. Yeah, it was already up two sixty seven. Yeah. You know. That's, and and this this is a this is a good move, man. I mean, I mean it's mean, a big difference for these companies going from twenty seven dollars to to you know imagine all of a sudden the the goods that you're selling. Right. Like we can charge fifty percent more than we could last month. Yeah. A lot of companies would go from massively huge bankrupt to, to in the huge. green. Huge. Huge. Yeah. And what's sticking out here with Chevron, uh, the. On the oils, folks, November 3rd sticking out. That's $98.64 in this case, you know. So you get a run like that inside those large multicaps, that, that's, that's big, big dollars, big money. No, no two ways about that. The, uh, let's go over to that gold contract for a second and see if she got any, uh, 
Look at this, man. Yeah, got by him. Same deal. I think that's that spike. Is that 1030 spike? It is. So gold gold went from 1253 to 1256. Well, that's not that much. But you know what? It's going to be enough to, if it builds some cars and gets into 1260, what you're going to get is that you're going to get a... We're almost $10 off the low. So right. just, you know, you were looking at the 1030 bar, but yeah. we're $10 off the low. That's a big move. It's huge. Yeah. And the, uh, I think this is the, was the 54 that we were looking at, if that was a rejection? One second. I don't even think it had 40. Yeah, 54.30. That's, that's, the, yes, that's that February, February 24th. 24th bar we were looking at. Because if you get that rejection of uh, 12.54.30, it's like, oh, really? <laughs> that's like, it just won't settle down. Sure. You know? Um, we had a question, uh, one of our Tigers, uh, he's actually uh, down in Santa Maria Island, Jim, uh, right now, thinking about when he wants to buy back Heckler. So Heckler has had a run from 148 up to 292, and Heckler 232, I think, would be the buyback. Right now, you're at 252. Percentage-wise, you know, with the small equities, the percentages are huge. Yes. It, you know, but guess what? It's that's how it goes. I mean, the percentage up is huge too when you look at it percentage up. Yeah, and you should be thinking of percentages. That's why I'm always right. bringing it in the binary. Trading, yes, right. You know, same deal where right. you don't think a lot when you, let's say, purchase a binary for 25 right. versus maybe 20. But if you said, you know, you got about 250 to put in baseball terms versus you got about like 200, you know, that's it, it, one out difference. of five versus one out of four. Right. It just changes right away. And every every percent matters. It's, oh, yeah. Huge. And they change a lot on those small numbers, just like that's why they change a lot in the binaries because you're they taking... Do. It's all it's all out of a hundred. So five that you paid extra is right. five that you can't make on the positive on the positive side. Huge, no doubt. Uh, let's see, CMG is he got some action on the way up. Uh, this this poor equity has got killed forever. I was oh. going to say action. No. no, yeah, they. No. I saw. I this saw, is action on the way down. I saw an article wow. that, that I think it's a Bill Ricca. Um, really, from the Bill Ricca that they have to close. Another store. Okay. Yep. After workers, Chipotle shuts Massachusetts location after workers get sick. Yep. That's not what they need to hear. Nope. And I think this is a Bill whatever. Ricker. Yeah. yeah there, I was, right I was, I was hearing about it. Um, and I don't think it has anything to do with E. coli. I think it's the same norovirus, whatever that is. Wow. That's where it's just like one store or something. Man. But um, yeah, yes. that's not what they need. Wow. Unreal. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. 
With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern Time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin, as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. We have the uh, Dow uh, up six. NASDAQ is flat. S&Ps are down uh, 220. Uh, the oil contract went south, took the market south with it ASAP. That's <laughs> interesting. Just to give a quick look, right? Wow. I mean, that's the oil. Seriously. The spike. And even taking a look at the NASDAQ 100, because that's yep. the first spike that you saw. It was. And this is quite a spike for sure. Um, Going right back to the lows. But you can, I mean, oil's almost right back to where it popped right. from. So it's, it's, there's some correlation without a doubt. Yeah, slightly. Let's go to Rick in Orlando. Hey, Rick, what's going on? Oh, it's a good day. And thanks for taking my call, both Tom and Tommy. Good morning, here. Rick. <laughs> Absolutely. Morning. Thanks for calling, man. Uh, uh, on Monday, I was really excited about your, uh, on uh, Tiger TV. What a wonderful setup to do there. But anyway, about uh, trading uh, the NADEX. Yes. And I'm on the day decks, have been, and I'm learning how to use it. And uh, I don't know if you're the lowest this, this morning, but uh, I set up on Thinkorswim. Uh, I set it up with all my uh, uh, ES, NQ, and the TF. Okay. And I usually trade the TF because it just seems to work better. But anyway, at 7 today, uh, there was peaks in each of those peaks and reversals to the down on each of those uh, futures. Okay. Now, in pre-market, I watched the volume. It's tiny by comparison, but it's there. Oh, yeah. Is that usable? In other words, if I get uh, little moves to the up and the volume drops... And on the ES, back, yeah. I use okay. it. I use it on the NQs and the ES, yes. Yeah. Okay. Now well, you, 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 you definitely have to be much quicker. I mean, and you're the, I, would say, I wouldn't say the accuracy, but, you know, that's, that's real. That's you know. That's real. Very but they can as soon as as soon as the market's really and it's not the nine thirty deal. It's really about eight thirty. At eight thirty, every future trade is up. Do you know what I mean? It, it's slamming oh. it by eight thirty. You know. Okay. The yeah, pits open. I, you know, gold opens at eight twenty. You know, the sell. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Those are those are things I don't know about. But anyway, I, for what it's worth, I'm having a blast. Like I. Uh, Usually trading the TF and uh, the Davy, so I don't have to worry about expiration, you know? Which is great. Absolutely right. That's and, right. Uh, anyway, I'm enjoying it, and I appreciate your help, fellas. We appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. Thanks for calling, Rick. Okay, bye. And this is, this is this market, man. This is, and that that's the... I mean, that's what you're talking about, taking profits, right? I am. I mean, you know, I talk am. about a perfect example of two minutes later, whatever it was. Totally. Yeah. Totally. You gotta be quick. You gotta you gotta grab them. You go in. You grab them again. You go in. You know. No matter what you're trading, too. It's no like matter. It, that's that, oil, oil or the market, right? Both off of news. That that correlation right there, you know, that's telling me that these big dogs in the marketplace really have these computers lined up. Because that's yeah, and it could be. This uh, could be. We'll see what comes out in the. No, oil, it could be right? news that we don't that's know about. Right I mean, now, I think right? it could be a demand deal yeah. in the oil report. Because a yeah. demand spike 
maybe because of production, what yeah. that would do it. You know, there's a, there's a bunch of things that could be in there that could. And so this is when what you also want to do is go right over to that uh, bond market. So, so the bond market is still saying, guess what? This market wants up because the bond market hasn't turned yet. Let me pull this 10 year up. So TY. You get a little spike, but it hasn't been able to get the juice. So that's yeah. that's the one you want to keep an eye on. It, it definitely, well, actually, that, that spike is down, I think. Yeah, the biggest spike is down. There it is. So right now, your, your biggest spike is still down at 1040. You know, this there's still sellers out their bonds. You know, so the, the battle's on. There's no doubt. The bulls and bear battle is on. It's going to be on in a good way all day long. Market's you, flat. We'll see what happens. You, that's right. You stay right there, man. Mr. Basil Chapman's coming up next. And, of course, then swim lessons. You heard Kevin said today. It's going to be an amazing program. I'm going to be watching. I am too, man. No doubt. Steve Rhodes, Dave White, myself. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Meow! Go get him, folks. That's best. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.